Man, it was world. crazy, man. A lot of crash units. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. Yeah, because huh? we were a gang of homies, you know, and uh, we got all the homies together, and um, and it was crash unit up the ass all around the barrio. Big Spider. Go, go, go. He's a recording artist. He's an actor. He's a community activist. He's an author amongst many, many things. He's a great person. Welcome to this platform, brother. Gracias, gracias. So let's just see. See, now we can talk. Yeah, there right? you go. Now, now we can Orale. talk, brother. Ahora sí, güey. Ahora habla todo lo que estabas hablando Damn antes, güey. So let's just get right into it. Homie, where were, uh, where were you born and raised at, brother? Yo estaba, I was, um, <clears throat> actually, I was born in um, General Hospital. And, um, and I was raised... In Samoro, right there in um, Magnolia and 25th, Estrella, all that stuff. Now, now what, what area is that? That's in um, West um, West Adams District. Now, West Adams, that's South, Cent South Central? Yeah, right there in, um, uh, right there in my barrio, right there in Harpies, so, Harpies neighborhood. So, you, you grew up there your whole life, huh? Yeah, all my kid? life. All my life since um, back in the 80s. You know, um, since a Morrito, I was able to experience a lot, you know, understand the meaning of our barrio. You know, the respect, politics, right. you know, all that stuff that came with it, you know, respeto, you know, and uh, looking out for a homie. Right. Um, let's get down to when you were a young kid, because we, we spoke and uh, you were just telling you were telling me and we'll get to the part how you're not so um, passionate about helping children. But that has a lot to do yeah. with the tragedies and stuff you went through, right? Yeah, I dropped out on third grade in elementary. I actually, um, I was going uh, at Norwood. Norwood Elementary over there, um, there in my barrio right there, and um, and that's where I grew up because my family, like a lot of my family, is done in el barrio, so that's how I grew up. Not Generational, because, yeah. So not because oh, I want to get in the gang. Nah, it's just more like tradition, like say traditional, you know. And um, yes, es como creció my way of understanding what was the neighborhood, and and when I dropped out, it's because I wanted to be. There probably because it has to do a lot with my father, you know, getting killed, you know, and not having the father figure, but my barrio, my homeboys, you know, things that I would look up to like a father's, you know what I mean? So what happened to your dad? Uh, my dad got killed. Um, he got burned alive, you know, when he was alive. Um, they burned him alive. Uh, out here or in Mexico? No, um, it was in the road. He was going to go see my abuelita, oh, wow. you know. And um and middle desert, you know, it it seems like the destiny was there already. And, and, and who broke that news to you? Um, my sister Mitia. How old were you at the time? Yeah. Um. Well, you know what? Um, I was six. Do, do you do you remember it still, or was it something that just kind yeah, of? Yeah, yeah. Well, I remember clearly because um my brother and sister we were all crazy we went crazy you know um no we were locos uh my mom couldn't handle us my mom actually when llegamos para atrás mi mamá ya se había ido you know they started shooting the house and um una bala ya mero le pegaba mi madre oh man. mi madre it was like you know what this is it i can't control my own kids you know how, how many of you were there um it's was well, me my brother and uh and my sister all from the hood um yeah yeah, pretty much so <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah my brother's been my role dog you know uh we sleep on the streets and all that uh At a young age? yeah there's the morrios how old um well as i could remember i was like um my brother was i think 10 i was what? i was 12 are you kidding me yeah man we were even you know man like two three in the morning We'll be out there trying you, to. Oh, you were those little homies out there, like yeah. the other homies, like damn, to go home. But you yeah, guys, man, we were like pistoleros. You were out there with it already. Yeah, man. So that's all we knew, you know. We were around gang banging. So no es como que estuvimos alrededor de. I, um, I could say normal people. The reason why I say normal, because people that have common sense, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, and people like us that don't have a normal life. It's not because. We didn't want to have a normal life. It's just destiny, what you go, grew up on. And and not only that, but poverty got a lot to do with it. And and um and not having a stable home and, and discipline and everything that has to do a lot 
with structuring a kid growing up, you know, to understand, you know, to go to school, listen to your parents, you know, do around the house, et cetera. You know, just have those values, you know, and um, and we never had that. Yeah, you're uh, what people don't understand. You're you're a product of your environment. Yeah, no, no, definitely, definitely. I mean, desde el basurero, you know, comiendo desde el basurero like that, hasta, huh, com man. hasta you know, dormiendo en la calle. You know, even when my brother got busted, you know, me aguité bien gacho. And um, I went through a lot, you know, and the best thing I could do is just sit in my corner, you know, and that's where I, you know, it, that's where Spider grew up right there. You that's, know? that's when Spider started becoming the guy because for many years you emulate somebody and then eventually you become that, right? Yeah, because whatever I destroy, I help rebuild because I understood that in life it's not about excuses it's about solutions you know because yeah. if i come from nothing to being something eventually i found my solution that's right you know so at, at what age uh, were you out there already carrying guns spider this is morro i'm um, nine nine that old, nine huh? ten years old you, you almost didn't even know how to use the gun you just you know what because i was so in the cut i grew up like listening to big homies you know about what, not being too loud you know what okay. i mean just being in the cut, so nobody knew I had a little some some on the side, you know what I mean? That's Instead right. of a book, you know. And and you never went back to school after nah. third grade? No, nah, they tried. They tried to put me in school. Even the whole LFI Union School District took my mom uh, and I and us to court, you know. And uh, they they expelled us from most schools. They didn't want us to go to schools, uh, no matter wherever school they wanted to sign us. We couldn't even go there, and that's why we went to court. Eran desmadrosos. Yeah, they were almost locking up my mom, too. Oh, for not. Yeah. For, for not. But at that point, she had lost control of you guys, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, and she couldn't hold, you know, sustain, like, put up with us. How, how, were you guys, like, right in the middle of the hood where you guys lived, or? Yeah, always. Always in the barrio. Always in uh, crossfires. Always into, how, um, you know. How, how, how Okay, so you, you're, uh, you're nine years old. That's. Roughly like around 19, like, uh, shit, 84, 83, right? Yeah, it was um in the 80s, early 80s. So how was your hood back in the 80s? How was our central Man, in the you 80s? Know what, you know what, um, as I could remember, you know, well, in my barrio, you know, yeah, I, I can't hood, really though. speak on yeah, all course. the barrios, you know, but in my barrio, it was um day and night, you know, um always, um you know, you hear guns, pa 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 over here and over there, pa. And then, you know, it was so much that I could say of what I learned of the politics in the barrio when something goes on. But I understand that calladito se mira uno más bonito, you know. <laughs> so it's not like I could go ahead and expose of everything. Course, but oh, at the same time, it was rough. It was rough. Um, you know, there were different uh, rules and regulations and um politics and all that stuff when you know because mandatory you got to go to a meeting to yes, the junta yes, you know mandatory especially back in the day you know what i'm saying mandatory guys, you get that good yeah. beat down if you're gonna show up and, I, and not only that but it was very important to look over a camarada you know if it needed tramos or where to sleep where to stay whatever it needed you know what i mean it was that righteousness back in the 80s right. to the early 90s pero ya cambió todo pero at the same time i always knew how to just Walk silence and have a limit in terms when I'm going to speak on a lot of different. It's just like the community, you know. Um, the reason why they didn't uh, want me to step to the next level in the community because they wanted me to be um, gang intervention and all that and deal with cops. And one thing I, I knew is that, you know what, no matter what, my pueblo is my pueblo, my barrio is my barrio, la comunidad la comunidad. Yes, sir. But I'm not going to be able, just because I'm doing so good in my community, that doesn't, I'm not going to put myself in a situation that I got to work with cops and all this stuff because gang intervention, that's what it consists as well as right. working with cops. I'm not me, you know what I mean? I know, be uh, I know better because not because... Just because coming from a neighborhood, there's politics. Oh, they used to talking with the whole No, nah, nothing like that. It's just that because of the experience that I have with cops. And what experience? Got, how what was your experience with cops? Cops, you know, um, you know, once because they grabbed me, they beat me up over there in um, I'm by Somali in the barrio. You know what I mean? They 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 did beat me up. They trying to 
pull out some information, but I wouldn't give them nothing. And then the second time, because I wanted to bring a park in the barrio, they said that I wanted to bring this park to deal with drugs and all that. Gosh, and yeah. they, you know, it was, they weren't having it. You know what I mean? What I wanted to bring back to my barrio. So they took me to um, 18th Street neighborhood. And then uh, they dropped me up right there. They took they my would do that. Yeah, they, they took my uh, shirt off because, you know, they wanted to so make sure that they know that I had the tacas from the barrio and I'm in their neighborhood, you know. So this, next thing you up to die. Yeah. And next thing, you know, they dropped me off by Pico and, um, and some other street, you know, and um, and they were in the porch. They were kicking it in the porch of oh, bottles. Next oh, thing you know, they shit. seen they seen the, the taca, you know. And hey, next thing you know, man, all I'm all I'm listening like ching ching ching. They're shooting at me like, and I'm running, man. I I'm like running for my life, man. Like regardless, I'm not Superman. You know what I mean? I'm a still, uh, yeah, you know, we're human you beings. Can, you yeah, dog. Get, like for these people are trying to smoke me right here. Yeah, dog. So you hear it like all I hear is like ching ching, but nothing's hitting me. You know what but I mean? It's, but it's I, getting by you. you yeah. Yeah, people don't understand how you hear it and feel that. Yeah, you, going by. No, no. And you, you feel some kind of air, but at the same time, at the same time you feel that air, you feel that shing, Yo, shing, shing. Yes. I like shing, shing. And I'm like, and I, I, it's my first time ever hearing that like shing, shing, shing. Oh, Jesus. I'm like, damn. But, hey, man, I think I left my spirit behind, dog, because I was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, a lot of people don't understand how in the 80s and 90s, I can't say about the 70s, but I'm sure it was the same, how dirty cops would do us, how cops would yeah. actually, they would make the fight worse amongst like that. Yeah, okay, you exactly. went over there to the guys from the Ocho, they end up busting on you, so you're going to eventually say, I'm going to get my run back, and then it just makes the wars even worse, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but you know what? What made it different, because usually, you know, oh, fuck it, we got to go regularly. What, what made it different it was that, the who it has the who does had to do a lot with it, you know. It's like it's not like I'm out there right now gonna go do a mission and go at the you yeah. know at the enemies whatever. It's just a, a matter of where I was at the wrong time and the who does got me and you know it was nothing nothing that had to do with with neighborhood stuff. You know it right. was just the, the moment that they wanted to just try up. to you know set, set you me up. up. Yeah. yeah, set you up. So how many different neighborhoods? Are around where, where where harpies is at, and how many of those are actually enemies, and or became you know allies or enemies at that, at that time? I think at the time, you know, because you know the barrio, it's been so strong for so many years. The history has, you know, not because I'm from there, you know, it's just at the point of it, of the experience that I had, and you got all these barrios that I mean, I could name so many, but you got all these barrios to a point where. They had to unite to try to take us out. Right. But because the virus has been so strong because of the, oh, <laughs> the virus has been so strong because of the politics and how strong the unity was in the water, you know, that's why it was so strong that, you know, and it's a, it got history. It's still strong, but you know what I mean? When I talk about history, it goes way, 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 way far. You know what I mean? And all I could say is that, um, being around that barrio and having that experience around all that, it, it was crazy. It, it was hectic, you know. Now yours is a little different. Did you when you grew up? Because a lot of times, like even myself, I, when I got into my neighborhood, I was fourteen, and it's kind of like I've made enemies overnight. But did you did you have that same situation where all of a sudden from harpies now you don't get along with these guys? You never really. It was more like. Um, like the 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 tradition, the culture, the 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 attitude that the barrio have that we will not let you know nobody tell us nothing. You know what I mean? It was more about respect, the pride, you know, respect, respect. Respetanos y te respetaremos. You know, a nosotros nos vale verga. You know, if they want to go on war, vamos a rezo. You know, ain't no ain't no questions here. Ain't no talking, nothing like that. You know, and and the barrio is known for that for uh, being like. Just like, que te valga verga, you know, like, vamonos recio. That's why the barrio has so much history because of, you know, just being so dynamic. And what I mean by dynamic, not thinking twice, just fuck it, whatever. You know what I mean? It's like protecting the barrio, you know. And, it, it meant everything to you guys. Yeah. Then. The barrio has been always like, el corazón. The barrio, it was not just the barrio gang banging. Hey, I'm from this. It was more familia. 
you yeah. know, mi camarada, mi familiar, you know, mi primo, mi, you know, because, you know, back in the days, back those were the, the footballs, days. you know, yes, remember yeah. barrios, you right know. Right with, there, that's our jersey behind you, homie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right so you, you have barrios, you know, um, against other barrios in, in, um, at the parques, you know, yeah, uh, football, sport, football and all that. También. But then eventually you, somebody gets to fight over some hyena or something, and here we go, start killing yeah. one another. Well, not only that, but, you know, you got you got girls coming around the water. We're like, hey, what's the party? Hey, hey, on the party. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or oh, homies, you'd be like planchando like three, four hours, just ironing. Just, <laughs> to go, just to go, you know, smoke some primo. Oh, nah. uh, <laughs> hey, nah. But we, we, we definitely had a different style back then. We had a different yeah, style. We, was, we, we had. Uh, I don't know if more pride is into it, but we really took a, a little more. Uh, I think it was. We took a little more pride in, in doing what we yeah. what we did back then. For it was sure. more tanguito status, you know, suspenders, homie, hush puppies, you know, yeah. Charlie Brown, you I, know, all I, that good I stuff. I think we we took a little bit of like how the Pachuco era was when they creased their pants and their mm -hmm. thing, but we just you know turned it into a cholo thing, like Boulevard Nights. Like, Remember, yeah, like Boulevard yeah, Nights. Oh, there, there you go. go. That was great. That hey, was, Chico. Yeah, yeah. Was Chico, the big VGV. Big VGV. Hey, one morning, Lemon Street Ranker. <laughs> <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Serio. Oh man. man. So, so in that era, did you guys also have a lot of casualties? Yeah, I mean, it's, you got ups and downs. You know what I mean, and yeah. um. A lot of good homies, you know, um, a lot of good, see, now in these days, a lot of youngsters, you know, they don't understand that, you know, um, there was a lot of homeboys back in the days that they, they die for the barrio. They die for vatos that now they get to, you know, have. Live, live off the fame. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? And, um, and it was rough back in the days, you know, like I said, ups and downs. That's a good, a lot of good homies, you know, to the, you know, to the game, you know. Because, um, you know, protecting what, where you at, you know. Did, did you find yourself, like many of us, kind of, I don't know if feeling less is the word, but not really hurting so much after so many years of seeing so many, being more callous, I guess, is the word. I think that it never stopped feeling for that camarada because it goes from, you know, from having memories of, going through depression, um, to making it out of a different neighborhood, you know, going through wars, um, you know, um, where the struggle, you know, the, the struggle that, you know, helping a homie out. It was more like that familia, el carnal, mi carnal, you know, not just my homeboy. It's my brother, my carnal, you know? And I think that's never stopped, you know, because that's how the barrio hold is so righteous, you know, and we always, respect the barrio we always follow rules and we always been a point you know because back in the day it was not about hey don't be hey it's the, hey i got this food it's not nah, it was just like longest you come out homie all you gotta say is trusha you don't gotta be saying all that it wasn't about the gram homie. Nah, <laughs> homie you're not about to promote yourself homie you just say trusha homies already know what's up homie you know you just come back to a barrio you know you know what you did all you got to know is, all homies got to know is just as long as you say trusha, they know what's up. You know, it's boy. cracking, homeboy. Yeah, exactly, you know. So was uh, was your neighborhood also, let's say, on a, on a summer 1985, were you guys out there with the rides, bumping, chilling, like like a boulevard night scene? No, I think that we always used to be, in, you know, we used to, they always used to know the barrio because we used to go deep, deep. They always used to see the homies deep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, even going to Tijuana, you know, uh, mom, uh, papas and beers, you know, uh, like papas and beers. But but you know what? It was a trip that um we wouldn't go out there looking for trouble, carnal. Right. But when trouble comes to us, homie, all hell will break loose, yeah, carnal. It's, it's you know crazy. what I mean? Go smash, dog. Like no questions asked, you know. So let's talk a little bit about um the song we're hearing from Conejo. So yeah. let's talk about that video, homeboy, because you were telling me by that time he was on the run for that video. Yeah, right? he was He was on the run. The homeboy was in the run. Shout out to my homeboy Conejo, SKM, my boy, the way. Simon, <laughs> saludos, SKM. Uh, my familia, SKM, mob. That's right. A todos, you know, Cultura Clothing is part of our SKM mob uh, clothing también. That's right. And, um, well, back in, uh, you know what happened in that video? Uh, 